Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're going to take a look at the Boost Case Hybrid. This is an external battery case for your iPhone 4 or iPhone 4S that packs 1900 milliamps of recharging power. Now the case itself is available in a ton of different color variations. It features two parts, a snap on the back style case, which is available in six different colors, and then the battery portion, which comes in either black or white. So that'll make more sense as I crack it open and let's do that now. Now. now this case sells for $79.95 and again it features a couple different components. What you have here is a snap on the back style case for your iPhone 4. We'll get to that in a second. And then underneath you have a charge and sync cable, USB cable, and then the battery portion of the case itself. As I mentioned it comes in black or white. I got the white version. So let's get all of this out of the way. We don't really need the cable now except to tell you that this does have a pass-through port which will charge both the battery in the case and then the battery in your iPhone at the same time or one after the other and also allow you to sync with iTunes if you so desire while your phone is in the case. So battery style cases are great. They often though are very bulky and if you're not using the power that's inside the battery, you're often carrying around a big bulky case for no reason whatsoever. These hybrid style cases that we've seen and uh, we've seen a few of them um, are really cool and they offer you the ability to use your phone in kind of a slim form factor yet have the ability to add battery or extra power when you need it. So again, it consists of two pieces you've got a snap-on style case again you can choose some six different colors I have kind of this grayish color here and this is nothing more than a plastic snap on the back style case it does have a soft touch te texture to it and you'll notice a kind of keyhole shaped cutout and that will make sense in a second so I'll put this on my phone by putting the button side in and just snapping it on let's look at the case first and then we'll go over the features of the battery on the back, you can see the large cutout here. Again, that's the cutout, which I'll show you in a second what we use that for. And then a large cutout for the camera and the flash. No issues uh, with flashback in this setup. Unfortunately, I can't say that's true for when I put the battery on, and I'll tell you about that in a second. As far as lay on the table, you do get a small amount. Most snap on the back covers don't give you much. This comes right up to the glass, and the corners will come up a little bit um, and give you a slight amount of lay on the table protection. On the bottom, you have one large cutout for access to the 30-pin connector, the speaker, and the mic. On the side, there are individual cutouts for the volume buttons and then the vibrate switch. Again, this vibrate switch cutout is large, so it'll work with all variations of the iPhone 4 and the 4S. You'll notice the Boost Case logo embossed there in the lower right-hand portion of the case, or left-hand portion of the case, depending on how you're holding it. On the top there, you've got another large, generous cutout for the headset jack, the secondary mic, and the sleep awake button. So when you're using the case in this setup, it's just like a traditional snap on the back cover. It'll give you a good amount of protection for the back of your phone while offering a nice amount of soft touch grip. So if your battery starts to die, you've been using your phone like crazy, you have the battery portion of the case which you can then install. So this little cutout on the back lines up with the little circular mechanism here and creates like a tongue and groove type lock which you can slide uh, together to lock the battery portion onto the case. So once you have it lined up like so, you simply slide down the case until it meets the 30 pin connector and you can see that the battery in my iPhone immediately starts charging. So as far as how the case looks when it's all together, you can see the white and the color um, offer a nice contrast. Again, this is available in black. Now as far as the texture and finish of the battery portion goes, in the white one at least, it is super high gloss finish. Still gives you a nice amount of grip though because you've got the grippiness from the snap on the back cover um, and you still get a good amount of grip with it. I think this remains relatively slim. Um, I think it's about the same size as say the Mophie Juice Pack Plus. But again, this packs 1900 milliamps of power. So in my testing, I was able to get at least one full charge from a dead iPhone back to 100% power and then even have a little bit of charging power left over. As far as the controls on the battery itself, you see them down below. There is an LED indicator which shows you how much power is remaining. Four lights illuminate to let you know how much power. You may also turn off the battery if you don't want to charge your phone. Um, you can do that by pressing and holding down that button that turns off the uh, external battery so that if you don't need to uh, be charging, you can conserve 
the power that's inside this battery when you need it. There is the USB pass-through for your charging of the battery, the phone, and doing all your syncing. And of course, you've got the um, cutouts here or redirectional ports for your speaker and mic so you can still hear everything and talk while this is all together. Now, as I mentioned, unfortunately, this case did give me issues with flashback when using the flash when the battery piece is on. I've run into this problem with basically every single external battery case I've tried. I think it's just that these cutouts are so deep, even with the black ring on there, you still get a tremendous amount of flashback when taking pictures with this case on. I don't use my flash very often, so I don't really think it's a big deal, but if you're someone that uses a flash a lot, be aware that this is going to cause you issues. So as far as external battery cases go, the Boost case has quickly become one of my favorite ones. I love being able to pop this off and use my phone in a nice slim form factor when I don't need the extra power, keep this portion in my gear bag, and then when the battery starts to run down in my phone, simply pop it on and rock it like so. You can of course leave it all together like this and use it full time by simply turning the battery charger off and then back on when you need it. But again, this is really meant to be used as individual components. That way you're keeping your phone as slim as possible, yet having the battery there when you need it. So that has been a brief look at the all new Boost Case Hybrid. Again, it's available in a ton of color variations on sale now for $79.95. Check the link in the video description where you can learn more about this case. And of course, if you have any questions about it, you know you can drop me a line. Otherwise, please have a great day. Please be sure to check out my two latest videos. Please like this video, leave a comment below, and of course, subscribe to the channel for more content.